All right. Hello, my name is Steven Phillips. I do pottery, as you can see. I've already been struggling with this so far, throwing this clay. Don't know how many pounds it is. But I decided I'll just go ahead and start recording. Once I got a little bit of a struggle out the way, um, and I just pretty much show how I will do a base. I'm kind of already now pulling this into form a little bit. Probably end up doing something more like a uh, bottle, but I'm pretty much trying to get this form. to the place I would like it so Next, what I'm about to do is I'm going to stiffen this bottom just a little bit to add some stability to uh, the bottom. First, I want to take out some of this water down at the bottom. start drying. Rip it a little bit here on the surface. Take out some of this water. I'm bad with towels. I use a lot of towels. I can tell I have a little bit of that. This is going to add stability um, when I begin to swell this out. I just end up filling the inside with gas and then it just blow up. Not safe to do. Um, so I can see the outside. Stiff me. Now it's kind of into the place where I want it to be at. 
I'm just gonna drive this bottle out a little bit more. You notice I didn't dry as much here because I'm about to swell back and um, I really need the support here at the bottom to uh, be stable enough so when I start uh, stretching it, I have enough support at the bottom because it's kind of heavy at the top because I'm leaving enough clay at the top to um, bring it in, probably turn it into a bottle. So if I'm planning on bringing it in, I want to make sure I have enough clay to actually uh, bring it back in once I sweat it out. trick one of my professors taught me is to make sure the top is wet here so that way when I'm stretching I have some stability I'm using one of my small ribs to go inside to stretch this from going to the bottom and coming to the top There's a lot of slip inside. Okay. Do this a couple of times. Pretty much till I get the shape I want. Or pretty much till I have stretched it far enough about to its capacity. I know a lot of people that go up and down, up and down. I'm not going to do that today. I'm trying to keep this baby as much as possible. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've been able to throw forms that's nearly close to this. At this size. Jesus. Now what I'm probably going to do is move the surface. Compress the surface. Let me make sure it's not in there.
This clay body is um, standard, Standards Clay 225. Um, it fires up to cone 6. I use cone 6 commercial glazes. Um, 